have our latest together service. We run these uh, every few months in the life of our church where all the kids and young people stay in the service and together as God's family we worship God, we learn together, we grow, we have fun as family and, and so this Sunday we had our latest one and our young people were leading worship which was absolutely incredible. They did such a brilliant job and uh, over the last few months Jack and I have been working with these young people, helping them um, each week at youth band and it's just been great to be able to share with them, to watch them grow in their giftings, uh, in their confidence, in relationships with each other and with us. And so on Sunday it was like they were released to fly and it was just really great. And they weren't just performing but they were leading us as a family um, in worship which was really great to be part of. And having seen that on Sunday it brings to mind to me two things really. The first is who are you investing in? What gifts has God given you that you can help? Maybe the next generation or, or, or maybe not necessarily people who are younger than you, but just invest in other people to help them grow and develop in the things that God has called them to do. Because as we do that, we ourselves grow, but we also get the privilege of watching others grow and develop to be all that God's called them to be. We get to partner with God in his transformation of his people, which is a really incredible privilege so I wonder who are you investing in and the second thing is these young people uh, some of them are have only just started secondary school a few months ago they would have never thought it possible for them to be leading worship in church on a Sunday morning even a few weeks ago when I suggested it a lot of them were quite scared about it and didn't think they were able but Often we write ourselves off and we think, you know, I'm too young or I'm too old or I can't do this and we think we're inadequate for God to use us. But I want to encourage you today that wherever you're at, whatever your age, God is not finished with you yet. He's still got a plan and a purpose for you and he's got gifts and um, abilities within you that he wants you to grow and develop in so that you're released to be all that he has called you to be. So who is it that you're investing in? And remember, be reminded today that God isn't finished with you yet. Maybe you can ask him for, to show you those opportunities where he wants to use you in a new way. Um, and can I encourage you to take that step of faith um, into those areas and watch God uh, work, be at work in your midst in ways that maybe you didn't think were possible before. Have a great week.